but you don't see it any longer outside of yourself. You start to see it as a part of yourself. Dangerous, evil people become a part of yourself. And good people and good things as well. Everything is a part of you. Everything is an expression of the oneness. And as you recognize this, you evolve into this place going beyond the good and bad. You start dropping your ideas of good and bad. And you give your chance, yourself a chance to rise above it into the oneness, from good and bad into the oneness. And as your mind becomes quiet, as you're going beyond the mind, your vibrations begin to rise. You're vibrating in a higher frequency because you have bypassed your thinking mind. You're no longer stuck there. You're no longer in that realm. And that's why they call it self-realization, self-awakening. Awakening to what? Realizing what? Awakening to that which you are not an individual entity separated from the source. That you are the source and you are the oneness. Therefore, if you're the oneness, no harm can come to you because that is a part of the oneness. Take what we talked about. Just think in that. Just stay with it. And feel. You can even physically put your hands here and bring them close, close to your heart. Before you touch, kind of feel like as you have your hands this way, you're coming up close. You can feel the force field. There's an energy field around you. You can call it the aura, you can call it your heart, or the presence. Feel this. And as you're here in this center of yourself, the transmission will begin to take place. You begin to feel the divine presence. Let God take over your, your, your life. Drop your resistance. You have nothing to lose. Don't be afraid. You're not alone. You don't need to feel overwhelmed that you have to do this by yourself. That which brought you to this planet, that which gave you life, is responsible for your well-being. Surrender to that. Let go of your ideas. God is in control of everything, of the pandemic, of the social issues, of the economic collapse, of your well-being, of your love affairs, of your finances, of your children, of your health. The force of love takes care of everything. And we learn accordingly as the expressions of the Absolute. We are in very good hands. We don't recognize it because we don't feel the presence of God in our every moment lives. But the more you start to experience that, the more you let go, the more gratitude and joy and bliss takes over our lives. No matter what's going on, 
on the outside world. Don't get distracted by the outside world. Don't let the outside world scare you. Hang out with this guy. Hang out with this, this one. This is where the juice is. This is where the power is. Bring your attention to this one. Her Majesty, the Supreme Being. She's operating within you, all over you, surrounding you. This is all you need. That's it. Bring your attention here, this way. And everything you need will come to you. It will literally come to you. And, the, and everything you need will come and knock on your door and will be presented to you. Practice being quiet. Invite silence to your life. The more you're quiet, the more you become in touch with your heart. The more you come to your power, get away from the noise, all this blah, 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 blah. Get away from it. That's representing the busy mind. That's what it does. The noise, the news, the blah, blah, blah. People who talk too much. Sound frequency that's disturbing. All of it is designed to activate your mind. Food which is disturbing. They're activating your mind. Spend time by yourself in the nature. <clears throat> Spend your time at the company of the wise, those who emanate silence, those who transmit love, if you're going to hang out with people. You're going to spend time with other people. Seek the company of the wise, the lovers of silence, the ones who operate from their heart, those who are not involved with the world, view the world as a manifestation of one busy, chaotic mind. Look at it that way. Change, change the way you're looking at things and look at the world that you're perceiving as a manifestation of a chaotic mind, as a sick mind, as a diseased mind and avoid it. Get away from that. If you want freedom, nothing good is going to come out of it. It's fascinating. There's a lot of wonders in it. Take the best out of it, but don't be focused on it. And don't try to fix it. Don't get passionate about it because it's not even real. Don't get all gone ho about saving something which is not real. It's all made out of thoughts. That's why the world doesn't stay the same. It's always changing from one thing to another. It's always in a state of flukes.